Well, new studies are in ranking the best sunscreens that you should be using this summer. But before you rush out to the store, our chief national consumer correspondent, Jeff Rossen, joins us live with this important warning. Good to see you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, good to be here as well. Yeah. I love being in town. And this is <laughs> this is the time. We were, Suzanne was just telling us yeah. about the weather. So you got to buy the right kind of sunscreen because it may not even matter, though. Here's the problem. If you buy the right kind of sunscreen but apply it wrong, what's the difference? You may not be using it the right way. That's the bottom line. I'm going to break it all down, including the major mistakes we're all making every time we go outside. The rankings are out. Consumer Reports says these lotions are the best for 2023. Copper Tone Water Babies and La Roche Posay. The best sprays are the Trader Joe's brand and Neutrogena Beach Defense. If you want to go chemical free, the Environmental Working Group says Attitude and Bobo Botanicals are at the top of the list. But this all means nothing if we're making the classic sunscreen mistakes. Mistake number one, thinking lotions are better than sprays. That's just not true. Uh, lotions and sprays, both effective. You can use either one, but make sure you're doing it right. So I'm gonna give you an example. When you put on lotion, experts say you should be using about an ounce every time that you put it onto a body. So if you put it on yourself and you're doing an application, you should have about an ounce. This is a 1.5 ounce shot glass. Don't ask why I have so many of these laying around. So that's, you know, that's about an ounce. That's how much lotion you should be putting on your body every single time. For kids, it's half that. Now, for sprays, you also want to use an ounce, okay? This spray bottle right here, you can see that has six ounces in it. So technically, you should be able to use this on six bodies. You should use it six times, and then you should be done it onto the next one. And you want to apply it like this. Not up here, not up here, one inch away like this. And how much should you do? Like this. I mean, my skin always glistens, obviously. But you want your skin to glisten, just like this. And even it, a lot of the um, spray bottles say you don't need to rub it in. Dermatologists say rub it in anyway. Mistake number two, you only need sunscreen in the morning. Nope, you need sunscreen no matter what time of day it is. But you should know the sun's rays are the strongest between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. Here's an easy way to tell if the sun is really strong, how long your shadow is. So right now, my shadow is really short. I mean, I'm six feet tall. And I don't have a long shadow right now. I'm like stepping on it. Strong sun. And finally, mistake number three, you can skip sunscreen on cloudy days. Nope, nope, nope. Those clouds are a false sense of security. Studies show over and over again that about 80% of the sun's dangerous UV rays get through those clouds. So forget about clouds keeping you safe. The best way to do this and to know what risk category you're in, just go on your phone. Whatever weather app comes automatically loaded on it, whatever you have, look for the, the day's UV index where you are. Here's the categories, you ready? Zero to two, low risk, you're probably pretty good. Three to five, moderate risk. You can get a sunburn in about 45 minutes. Then we go six to seven, that's high risk. You can get a sunburn in just 30 minutes. Then eight to 10, very high risk on the UV index. You can get a sunburn in just 20 minutes. And if it's an 11, that's the top of the scale, extreme risk, don't be out. You get a sunburn in just 10 minutes. This is personal to me. I had melanoma twice. Oh. So this is super important. To help you keep you safe this summer, we're gonna put a full list of the best lotions, sprays, chemical-free sunscreens tested by the experts, all of it on my website, rossonreports.com. It's interesting because I always thought that lotion was so much better than the spray, and I prefer it because it's I know. cheaper. I know, you know? no, the, the spray, it's, <laughs> it's kind of easier to use, and you feel like it's not doing the job, but you have to use it right. Yes. That's the whole point. And the, and the proper amount is really important. An ounce, it's a yeah, lot, right? Only six lot. uses out of a can. Yeah, when you see it in the shot glass. That's why I wear SPF 100 with this gun, you know. Yeah, I gotta exactly. Be careful. Gotta protect the skin. <laughs>